Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we're playing as Tyrone. Tyrone, Tyrone, Tyrone. Tyrone. Here in the opener is Alice 4. We are colonizing in Connecticut because we can. And we're also colonizing in Salt because we can. From Salt, we can branch off into Hudson Bay, which would block anyone, namely England, from colonizing North America. I'm actually not adverse to England colonizing North America. I'm kind of against it, but not fully against it. Oh, they're going for these colonies. That's fine. Because I plan on vassalizing England at some point in the future. So if they want to, you know, go colonize, that's fine with me. But I do want to block them off from getting the interior. At least, I think. Mm, yeah, I think I do. If we do vassalize them in the future, what we can do is sell them land here in Hudson Bay. And then they can go colonize stuff for us. So that's an option. Uh, we have lots of revolt risk over here. 11.8%, 8.4%. So we should probably deal with it by coring some stuff. But coring stuff is more expensive when you have war exhaustion. So we're going to let our war exhaustion burn down before we core anything. We're just going to keep converting stuff for now. And I'm not even sure we're going to core all this stuff. We might... We might. Hmm. We probably should, actually. I don't want to be too lackadaisical and lazy. You know me. Lazy Shen. Lazy Shen. Lazy Shen. Hmm. Yearly prestige. Missionary strength. It's actually going to put us in the red. We're going to have... Um, Negative income if we get one more advisor. But you know what? We need it. So give me... Let's see. Revolt risk. Give me the revolt risk guy. That sounds like fun. Funsies. Non-enforcement of ordinances. Gain 10 revolt risk in Penacook or lose admin points. We'll gain the revolt risk in Penacook. Screw you, Penacook. Why are you so uppity? Hmm. He's a jerk, that's why. Alright, conversions go! Conversions, yay! So fast. New World conversions are amazingly quick. Oh, blockade. I don't know why I'm not blockading. It helps, quite a bit. And our vassal converted to reformed, which doesn't bother me that much, but it is weird. My king, conquistador Mercadha, Mercadha o Doibhilian is dead. Okay. Oh, Sweden has disputed succession. Really? Oh my god. On monarch death, a noble from House O'Neill succeeds the throne. Yes! Can we inherit Sweden and Muscovy? Oh, yeah! That'd be, that'd be so nice. <sighs> oh, I'm dreaming, though. He's only 18. He'll probably have a baby. Still, it's a good dream to have. So we're making three and a half ducats in London. And we're making... 10.5 ducats in, Ch in Chesapeake Bay. So good. Stupid natives. Oh, unsuitable recruits. Ew. That's a horrible event. You lose 10% of your manpower in that event. Ugh. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay, we've maxed relations with France and England. Uh, Portugal's pretty good. Let's check out um, Sweden again. Sweden's pretty good. Oh, Castile has set us as rival. Ew! Why would you go and do a thing like that, Castile? You jerk. Hmm. But he is allied with England. So if he declares war on me, that would mean another war with England. And that's, that's a war we can definitely win. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. France will beat up Castile. We'll beat up England. 
and everybody wins. So weird having Fwa as a vassal of Burgundy. Are you annexing them? No. Why not? <laughs> you should totally annex Fwa. Hmm. And people are not leaving the coalition for some reason. It's been like four years since he joined the coalition. He hasn't left it. Hmm. Oh well, let's um let's go impress the powers that be. Let's work on let's see, who has the least horrible opinion of us? You have the least horrible opinion of us, Senor Catholic. Our agent was discovered in London. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? Oh right, we're just gonna keep on fabricating claims because who cares? Come on, England, declare war on me, you jerk. I dare you, I double dog dare you. And the Netherlands left the coalition. Good. 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 And conversions continue. Die, peasants. Ooh, um, gain prestige at the cost of money and admin points, or just don't. Yeah, there's no, there's no point. <laughs> at least I don't think there's a point. How's that peasants war, England? It looks fun. You have peasants everywhere. Revolt risk 3.9, 5.9. Yeah, he's got some revolt risk. 93% uh, on that claim. Damn it, I can't believe we, we got discovered at 0.09% per month. But we got discovered anyway. Which has lowered his opinion of us by 40. 40. I'm a man. I'm 40. I bet you are. I should probably go kill these pirates, huh? Uh, but I only have two large ships. I don't really want to spare any of my trade ships. Because they're all making me money. God, those trade ships are invaluable. Well, that's not true. There's so little money to be made on this node. We might actually do better if we had our our ships in uh, Chesapeake Bay. But, I mean, we have firm control of Chesapeake Bay. I don't know. Let's go kill the pirates and see if that makes us any extra cash. It may, it may not. Oh, we have an explorer. Very cool. Let's go patrol Chesapeake Bay for a change. See if you can kill those pirates for me. And the rebels are dead. Great. Oh, we have free diplomats. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep working on the HRE derps. Work on Cologne. Cologne. And Trieri. Okay. Trieri? Convert. Claims on Essex. Very good. We shall get more. We shall go for Wessex as well. We will get rid of all that is England because they should burn. They really should. Patrol. Okay, so we've killed all the rebels. We're making money. Even with three advisors, we're making money. Uh, our manpower is about half, but it, it will come back. And our colonies are going just fine. Oh no, natives. We lost five soldiers. Oh no. Oh, rebels on our face. Cute. Very cute. How's our war exhaustion? Still dropping. Monthly goes down 0.1. All right. Well, hurry up and go away. Well, we have overextension. Uh, do I want a core Oxford? Sure. I probably do. Or I could just sell it. Hmm. It depends on how soon we go to war with England. If we go to war early. 
like during their peasants war then hmm then we can sell Oxfordshire to our vassal that's probably a good idea because once we have all these claims we'll be able to go to war what did we take last time we took how much base tax 5 12 18 we took 23 base tax in the last war so let's plan on around 23 25 so 8 and 8 that's 16 we can't get Kent it's too far away we can do Lincoln so 16 Lincoln that's 21 and Glamorgan and Gwynedd maybe or, or just Gwynedd hmm but yeah once we have Essex or Wessex then we can fabricate King like Kent for the next war <laughs> not sure I would like to go to war with England while they have their peasants war because that's obviously when they're the most susceptible and um, I think our allies would join us in that the only problem is that stupid coalition but I guess at the end of the day the coalition doesn't matter that much France can beat up Brittany and England's allied with Castile who France can also beat up and Lithuania who Russia or Muscovy can beat up Lithuania for me so oh Burgundy that's right Burgundy's in here too damn I really don't want France to be distracted with Burgundy so let's see if we can get Burgundy out of that coalition that would be great Castile is blockading us jerks they're not blocking embargoing us look at that they're embargoing us well we can embargo you right back but I'd rather not have you as an enemy I don't know okay we're killing pirates go us oh yeah take that you stupid filthy pirates there we go so how does our oh wow we're making so much more money over here thanks to those ships holy crap that's a huge boost in income oh nice okay so let's see we can start taking some some military ideas since we're still seven years ahead we might as well there we go infantry combat plus 10 percent great our first quality idea and we also gain some diplomatic reputation Good. we're converting more native americans great Siena declared war on the Pope. Okay. Siena. Oh, wow. Siena owns Tuscany. Siena. Why'd you declare war on the Pope? Conquest of Rome. And the Pope has allies, mains. Pope has shit for allies. Siena's gonna bring Austria in. And Savoy. Oh, God. Pope, you are fucked. You are just fucked. Oh, oh no, we can't declare war. Ooh. Actually, that's okay. Look at that Regency Council. That's such a good Regency. Oh my god, that's so good. That's almost as good as our next king is going to be. Wow. I have not seen a Regency that good in forever. That is an amazingly good Regency. Hmm, did we lose any marriages because of that? Sometimes you lose marriages when Regency happens. No, no. Nope, didn't lose marriages. All right, good. All right, and I think that's all the conversions. Yeah, so let's start converting um, the old world. Western Isles, go. And we need to protect that guy again. How many points can we have? Oh, we're at our maximum. Maybe we can steal someone? Maybe. I don't know. That's a lot to spend, though. I think we'll just hold on to our points in case anyone challenges our, our dudes. Oh, look at France down here in Buenos Aires. Huh. 
That's completely unexpected and awesome. Go France. Castile Clear War on Aragon. Ooh, who's your allies? You have crap for allies, Aragon. Oh, goodness. Hmm. All right, we got claims on Wessex. Very good. And Portugal did join that war against Castile. And it looks like Castile did not bring in England and Netherlands. Interesting. All right, let's get some more claims. Let's go for uh, Lincoln. And convert Ulster. Sounds good. Yeah, get our capital back to the proper religion. Thank you. We'll make more money as we convert some of our lands as well. Hmm. Religious revolt, yeah. So how's our war exhaustion? It's almost gone. Great. Printing press gives benefits. Gain points. Yay! Tech points. I love tech points. Keep converting. And Connecticut is almost done. Then we'll just have to decide where to go. Probably Quetich. Unless one of these is better. No, they're all about the same. Oh, Mahican's easy. Oh, they're all pretty easy. Yeah, we don't have range for Hudson Bay. So we're going to have to go based off of salt. Might as well do Quidditch then. Or... No, Quidditch is safe. Why don't we come down here and get this one, which is not safe? Yeah. Safe by, I mean, no one else can get it. Alright, core it. And run your ass down here. Portugal owns pretty much the entire Car Caribbean, so their economy is going to be amazing. They are transferring forward. Yep, they have a merchant here pushing forward to Seville, where Portugal probably has the majority of the income. Yeah, but it's not much. They're only getting 15.1 out of Seville, and we're making 14.2 uh, out of Chesapeake Bay. So I think we have a lot of good power over here. These fucking trade ships are amazing. Hmm, we might want to bring some troops home if we're going to be converting so many dudes. But the revolt risk here is greater. Hmm. Okay, free diplomats. Who wants kisses? I would love to get Burgundy out of this damn coalition so I could declare war. Seventy-five aggressive expansion. Ouch. I guess I could just declare war on, war, war on one of England's allies, but he doesn't really have any good allies to declare war on. Castile, I guess. Do we have any CB on Castile? Probably. Yeah, we have colonialism on Castile. Hmm. How many units does Castile have? I see 25 down here. Well, France can handle that. They don't have any good allies, do they? All right, well, that's an option, because Castile's not in the coalition, and Castile would stay the war leader. So they would only bring in the Netherlands and England, and that's it. Interesting. Conquer Meath, enemy of enemy, Burgundy. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Spread culture to Huron. We might do that. Did we stop culturing? 25 points. Eh, do it. Pretty cheap. And as long as they're Irish, they will have like no risk of revolt ever.
Okay, we're back from Burgundy, and he's still in the coalition. Yeah. Hmm. Thing is, if we declare war on Castile, he'll just peace out of his other war right away. Although he is winning his other war. Hmm. War exhaustion is zero. Okay. Then that's the perfect time to start coring this crap. It's cheapest when your war exhaustion is zero. We have almost everything coring. We're only missing three. And it only costs like 300 points. <laughs> it's because the base tax is not amazing. Brittany's still in the coalition. Not that they matter, but they're in it. Oh, England ended their peasants war. But they still have peasant rebels everywhere. Explorer died. Whatever. Oh, a pretender... In England? Really? Oh, that's what the peasants did. Ooh, so now he's back to a full economy. Damn. Interesting. Yeah, he did have an heir. Damn it, Sweden, you went and had an heir. I was hoping I was hoping he would die young and have an O'Neill on the throne, but it didn't happen, did it? <laughs> it just didn't happen. Oh, he just deleted some soldiers down to 11. I mean, down to 9 now from 11. You keep on deleting soldiers, dude. Okay, what's the next one we want? If we're going to get Essex and Wessex, that's 20... No, that's 16 base tax, plus Lincoln is 21 base tax. What else can we get that has good base tax? Um, 21. We can probably get Gwynedd. It's going to be at least two more wars to vassalize them. So, might as well take whatever we can. Yeah, I think we're going to do it by declaring war on Castile. Because Castile has no real allies other than England. Okay, Pope is going to get a next by Ferrara? I thought Siena declared war on the Pope. Ferrara also declared war on the Pope. Holy crap, Pope. You're just between a rock and a hard place. Look at that. Damn. Sucks to be you, Mr. Pope Man, with your Pope plan. Hmm. Yeah, let's see who would join us in this war. Oh. Well, we have a Regency Council, that's right. Shit. So we have to wait three years anyway. All right, let's just keep improving relations then. That always helps. I guess mains. Anyone who's Catholic. But we do need to end the episode here, so thank you guys for joining me today. I have been Shen, you have been you. This Chesapeake Bay trade node is really making bank for us. 12.9 ducats. We have all of our trade ships over here patrolling. So they've just massively increased our strength of this node. We're up to 72% control. And uh, London trade node is just falling to shits, which is awesome. It's worth almost nothing now. So I'm glad we're not pushing trade forward to London, because screw London. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you next time. Have a good day.